Hello, you guys! All right, we're gonna turn this into a vlog, into something, something that I, I actually have no idea, to be completely honest with you yet, because I had this idea since I'm off work today, and there is days where I'm off work because I am supply, and unfortunately, you guys, not every day can someone take my child to school. So, with that being said, I am off today, and seasonal depression is not really like a good thing for me and I definitely get that way because here where I live in Ontario Canada oh it goes dark and it goes dark and gray for so long especially in like the late fall early winter type of season and until there's white snow on the ground everything's like bright and like the sun is just like bouncing off the snow and it hurts your eyeballs to look outside um it is just dark and gloomy. Um, I had this idea to get Leslie a Christmas tree for her bedroom because Christmas trees are fun and cheery and amazing and it's so exciting. So I looked and I found one at Michael's for actually a really good price. It's 60% off, so it's like over $100. And then because I'm an educator, I have a teacher discount through Michael's as long as I bring my teacher ID. So I'm going to bring that. I actually called them and I was like, does my extra 15% off work with the Christmas trees? And she's like, yes. And I was like, this is the best news ever. So not only can I use it for my classroom next year, but obviously it's going to go in Leslie's room this year, which I think will just bring extra joy, extra excitement and extra happiness to me today. Okay, the hair is done. We have it in like a somewhat bun. I just did a hair mask with the same bun. Um, who is it? Sophia Richie did this butt hairstyle bun situation. How many times have I said bun now? Um, but I just did the hair mask the other day, so we don't need to do that again. So I just put gel and oil, like frizz oil, and then braided it, twisted it, put it in this sitch, and then I put in my Santa Claus hat earrings. So we're going to take off this ugly cardigan and head to the store. I kind of want to take out all the Christmas decorations now before I head to the store. Maybe I'll do that. I think it's both the cats are sleeping. Archie's probably up here though. He is. Hi, buddy. And Gus is downstairs. So I need to kick Archie out so I can open the storage. <laughs> Nothing like being in a storage. We got our roof done. So half of it I vacuumed out and the other half just has like shit from getting our roof done lingering about. But I found the Christmas bins. We have like four Christmas bins here and we only need this one and this one so far. So we're gonna take them out, dust them off and then put them also in the hallway with all the other bullshit because I have my educator bin, which I keep going into every time I have a chef. So I have to leave that out. I'm probably just gonna put it in my room though because I don't want too many bins at the top of the stairs. It really bugs me to my core. All right, bins secure. Now, educator bin has to go in my room. Clothes that don't fit less, I have to donate. <sighs> which thing I'm gonna do today? Because it's not really enough stuff to bring to once upon a child. And honestly, I just want it out. Out of the way, out of, just get the fuck out. <laughs> I'm in one of those moods where I'm like, get rid of it. Um, so I mean, something is safe, but this is Leslie's room. I have to clean it and renovate it. Not renovate it, clean it, move furniture around. And I should have put a stand in that stupid storage, but I have to open up that storage because Leslie has these pictures, which have peeled paint off the wall because I have Velcroed and then just use like stickered thing majors. So now I'm gonna have to just nail them onto the wall, move her bed over here, open up there. I'm gonna put the fan in there just to make my life so much easier. 
I washed all her bed sheets today, so that's good. And then I gotta move and organize her doll house and shit. And then vacuum her carpet. Hello. Her vanity, I have to clean because it's covered in makeup. And this is such a clusterfuck that like, I can't even handle it. Take out her garbage, vacuum the floor, reorganize all this. But this is the definition of a kid's bedroom, I feel like. I'm gonna go get the tree now and I have a bag of stuff to donate. So I'm gonna do that and I have a package to return. So we're, it's going, I'm excited. Um, and then I also need to go to the dollar store and get ornaments, so that's good. Um, I peeled off also, those are the bins at the top. That's also the third, which I need to take out, but I kept adding to it. And then I do need to also nail all those pictures into the wall because so much paint peeled off when I was taking off those stickers and I'm so pissed off that I let myself do that considering we just redid and we just painted the walls but we still have a whole bunch of leftover paint and so I'll just I'll touch it up one day in the future when she wants to take down those pictures but till then the wooden frames are staying up so yeah and then also I'll say there's a bunch of toys that we are going to donate and get rid of um, before Christmas. Um, I did go to Indigo yesterday and I bought this book for my future classroom. It's a holiday book. Um, obviously, I, so one thing, one of my goals as an REC, you're supposed to have a goal every year of what you wanna work on. And one of mine is a diversity and inclusivity which is also including myself of learning, buying stuff for different holidays, different cultures, and educating myself so that I can educate my, all my future classrooms. But when I was buying this at Indigo, the girl was like, are you a teacher? I was like, well, yeah, I'm an EC. She's like, oh, that's amazing. And she's like, you guys are like truly the best and I'm so glad you're buying this book and I'm so glad you're teaching this to your students. It's so important, um, which just makes my heart really happy. And then I brought it home and Leslie saw it because of course I'm gonna read to Leslie. And she's like, oh, I know about this. And I was like, oh, do you? She's like, yeah. She was talking about this. And then she opened it up and she was like looking through it. And she's like, oh, no, it's a different book. But anyways, I'm excited. So I'm going to read this to Leslie because it is on the 12th, the day after Remembrance Day. And um, then I'm going to put it in my educator bin. So this is my supply bin. It has so much stuff in it. I also just organized and put in there's like feathers leaves pumpkin stuff but this is also the hot glue gun i have a parachute i have stuff for st patrick's day beach day this is a box of figurines puzzles for like learning bins and stuff i have a pointer chalk counters more sensory bin shit like and under all of this is like some books um some duotang stuff here ideas extra copies of paperwork um, what are those clipboards? Leslie made this craft at school and I loved it. So I just put it in here so I can make it in the future. There's honestly just so much stuff in here. It's kind of overwhelming and I have like a whole feeling chart situation that I bought. So this bin is already full and I have to go buy another one. And that is only from stuff from all three of my placements. And now as an educator, when I see stuff, I get things for my future classroom. But that is meaning half of it. I do have an Amazon storefront of stuff that I need for my future classroom, activities and all that. And then Leslie also has a sensory bin that she's kind of growing out of now that I will be taking into my future classroom, which has a bunch of scoops and all that stuff, so. Okay, we are at Michael's. It is there and I am eager to get this tree. But I'm also curious to know what it looks like in person because I have only seen it online. But. It's for Leslie's room and then for my future classrooms and I'll probably use it for 20 years. So honestly, it's fine. <laughs> okay. She, she's here. I think we like her. She kind of feels cheap, but at the same time, we don't have that kind of money. So this one's her. We got her! Um, that was super quick. That, okay, so crazy. Um, I'm so fucking grateful for this in this moment because this will be in my future classroom. The tree was originally a hundred dollars. It was 60% off, making it $34.99 pre-discounts, okay? 
Then I had my teacher discount, so that got me $5.25% off, which means I saved $70.25, making this total tree $33.61. For a fucking four foot Christmas tree with the clear lights, because the girl walked past, she's like, do you want color or no color? It's like clear. And she's like, okay, you got the right one. I was like, oh, thank goodness. She's like, I know the look. And I was like, you know it. Anyways, I am so fucking happy. I am so fucking excited. Now we're going to hit the dollar store and get some cheap Christmas balls because it's going to be in Leslie's room. So the cat's going to play with it. She has friends over occasionally. And I'll let her play with some special ones. I'll just get the basic ones today. But also it makes me want to really pick her up from school right now and be like, yes, fucking what? Like, I'm so excited. Um, this is the best. Do you guys want to hear mom life in a nutshell? Okay, so obviously it didn't work today, which honestly, hindsight after I tell you this, just makes sense. Um, I just got home from the dollar store. I was going to give you guys a cute little haul. I was going to surprise Leslie, you know, renovate her room, all the things. Guess what? Got a call from her school that um, she got back from the bathroom and apparently she got sick. What the fuck? Half the time she fakes sick, but I did tell her teacher that like, her sickness will go zero to a hundred like that. And I don't send her to school sick. So the fact that I got a call means she's sick. I will know the second I see her face. Um, so postponed. <laughs> There's a reason why I didn't work today. The universe had a plan. The universe had something going on. So the verdict is in. We have a faker waker on our hands. I knew it. I literally, I'll show you the video before this. I was like, apparently Leslie got sick at school, but I think she could be faking. And I will know by looking at her. And she is a faker waker. <laughs> she said that her teacher said they were gonna have the hardest math after recess. So she had to fake sick because she didn't want to do math. Yeah. Apparently. And you're lucky I'm not working today. If or you would have been kids, stuck at school. If your kids need, um, tell your kids if they, if, um, fake sick. No, don't fake sick. It's not good. I think we did good. And scratch boards are cheaper here. Oh gosh, look at you guys all lying on. Okay, so here is the Dollar Store and Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Um, I'm just gonna pick and grab. So, the first thing that I have is seven scratch boards because they are the cheapest place to buy a scratch board for your cat and my cat goes through them monthly okay so i spent 37 dollars at the dollar store so perfecto but i did buy this which i have no i have another santa mug but it's a lot bigger and the rim of it is annoying so i got this one look how cute it was 350 so Stupidly expensive, but it's fine. But Leslie, these cute little bows. I'm obsessed, like Christmassy, besides pink ones. Let me see. Christmassy, and they were $4, which these have gone up in price a lot. Oh. And then I got mascara. This is not my favorite mascara from Wet n Wild, but it was $3, so actually way more affordable than you think. So then we got hooks for her Christmas tree. And then we got this cute ribbon. For her tree so i'm just gonna put everything to the side because i have to put it in the bag so we can bring it upstairs and then we got this one for my future classroom for sensory bin so i'm gonna go put that in my educator bin and then we got sprinkles so leslie and i can make a cake for the road trip this weekend i got this interesting this five second rule game just spit it out it's the mini game so i'm gonna take this on the road trip because I think it'll be really fun to play in the car. Two gold ones and then one red one. Unless they could do a whole bunch of ornaments. And then I got another one of these organizers for Leslie's Christmas tree or ornaments. So I can label it for next year and just put it, all them aside. Okay, moving on to Dollar Tree. Leslie got more gold balls. So there's a lot of gold going on this tree, which I'm not opposed to. And then she got six five five of these like rose gold pink one and then she wanted these candy canes of course because they're jello and chocolate flavor because apparently she doesn't like peppermint ones and then we got uh an extension cord because her tree is pre-lit i'm not sure where we're putting her room yet 
And then we got gnomes to put in her tree because these are super cute. We also got this red sleigh, thirty-seven dollars at Dollar Tree. And then we got a little star for the top. This one was like the cutest one. The other ones at Dollar Store were not that cute. Yes. The only one I did not get is a tree skirt yet, but I'm gonna look a little bit harder for that. For now, I'll just put like a red blanket around the bottom. It's fine. Let's pick out this one. And then she picked out a unicorn one. It's a skiing gnome. And then she picked out a Santa, a Santa, a snowman. Got two candles because my sister wants me to make her a candle. So I'm just gonna melt these down with other ones. It's just the cheapest, easiest way. And then I'll use these wicks for her candle, so. So somehow my phone called 911. I actually have no idea how, because considering I was vacuuming the other room. Um, so I started sweating like profusely. And then I had to call the non-emergency line because I missed the call when they tried to call me back because obviously the call was like dropped or they hung up or something. Um, so I called the non-emergency line. I was like, somehow my phone called 911 and then I missed the call back because I was vacuuming. I just needed like, not in an emergency, if you could clear that for me. So, in case it happens to you, all they ask for is your name, address, and then they base off of the phone number that you called off of, which obviously is what I called them on. Um, so, it was fine, she was nice, but was I was like- nine one one? Yeah, but I was not in an emergency, and I was like, my phone just started telling me that I had emergency services, and I was, and she's like, it's okay, no problem. So, anyways, my heart's racing, I'm sweating. <laughs> oh, and, and then, do it right after that, Leslie it. and I heard sirens twice. And I was like, are they? <laughs> I was like, is emergency services coming to my house right now? Because, like, no emergency. Okay, so I have to put her bedding back on. But her bed's on this wall. Barbie stuff coloring underneath. I moved her lamp over there because she doesn't really use it. Because we So anyways, I'm going to put her tree right here. Because I feel like there's a plug right there. It just makes sense. Carpet under the window. Vanity's there. And then we have her dollhouse here. Closet there. I feel like this is kind of awkward right now. But it works. So, Leslie's done dance. It is currently like 7.15 maybe, I don't know. But we are gonna take off her makeup. My eyes are like, I've wiped them a thousand times. Take out these earrings. Honestly, these earrings are not heavy, but like after you're wearing them all day, it definitely starts to like irritate you a little bit. I posted a reel showing the final product of our tree. Um, off my makeup and then give Leslie her second dinner because that's always what happens after sports she needs another dinner and then do the dishes clean up probably I'll have a shower tonight so I'll have to wash my hair tomorrow morning and go to bed so we'll see how long it all takes and read a story and go to bed for Leslie and all the things <laughs>